did you did you know right away that that's where you wanted to be? Um, I actually I always wanted to go to Oregon uh, as a kid just because of their uniforms, just how they how they play, you know, a fast paced offense up there in um, Oregon. But you know, the the time I noticed and realized that LSU was for me when um, Coach O and Coach Inzminga sat me down in the office and was like, this is our offense, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're trying to do, this is where we're building to, and we would like you to be a part of it. And I was just like, you know, you can't pass up that opportunity to, one, play for your home state and compete for an SEC championship and compete for a national championship, you know, so you just can't, can't beat that. Obviously, only a couple pieces left in the class just because yeah. there's so many commitments already. Is there some guys out there? I know you're a big recruiter. I know you're in people's yeah. ear. So is there guys out there that you're hoping can, you guys can get to fill those last few spots? Um, Zach Evans. Uh, we call him Zeke. Uh, DeMond Demas. You know, he's been solid to Texas A&M, but I'm still in his ear. Uh, even though we have four receivers, I'm like, bro, if you come, you know, that, even, that makes us even better and stuff like that. Uh, I'm working on some tackles and some guards. I can't say no names right now, but they know who they are. Um, to you know, just to protect and and have set our class together. But um, that's about it right now. We're we're almost done. So, do you guys have a big? Is there a big group chat or a text group? Um, yeah, we have we have a, a big group chat text on Snapchat with everybody in it. Uh, all our targets, uh, commitments, recruits, and stuff like that. Even 2021, 2022, Landon Watson, um, all of them. Who started this? Um, I want to say it was me, Mac Gray, um, who else? Jaqueline Roy. He was in. Uh, he was one of the starters. Um, I want to say Kayshawn is. You know, we all put it together and just put everybody across the state and across the country in it. I just I let the coaches handle the recruiting part. Um, you know, I just my my main goal is to create friendships really you know long-term friendships uh to where they know their quarterback is just don't want them for their talents you know but not you know that's the main goal for you to come to for them to come to lsu and we go win a national championship and a, a sec championship but you know just creating those friendships those bonds you never know when you might need someone down the road so you know i just try to create bonds with everybody that i can recruiting wise or not how excited are you when you see what they're doing this year and what the offense has actually turned into? How excited does that make you? Uh, you can't do nothing but get excited. You know, Joe Burrow throwing for 400, 500 yards a game, uh, five and six touchdowns a game to four and five different receivers. Um, you really can't do nothing but get excited. You know, they're throwing the ball over 70% of the time. Uh, you know, it could be first and 10, third and five. They're, you know, they're spreading it out and going to attack, you know, the weak spots of the defense. Just Knowing that I'm going to be a part of that for the next couple of years is just heartwarming. What's the future like for, for LSU? Um, you know, everybody is looking at the, the uh, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson duo. Um, but to be honest, you know, these four that, that we got coming in right now, if we all stay together, we're going to be special. Like all four of them going to be leading in the SEC. All four of them going to be leading in the country. You know, just because, like you said, they all can do different things. Um, you know, Jermaine is our Jermaine and Kayshawn run, you know, four four, four threes and forties. And so they're our deep threat and then you can't guard them, you know, short routes. Um Rakeem and, and Coy are the, the two most smoothest receivers in the country. So, you know, just having all of them on the same team, we're gonna be so dangerous.